Hi, welcome to Anne Bonnie Bags. My name is Uni, and today we're going to make a bag of recycled denim. You can see it's a, it's a pretty new pair of jeans, so they're not too worn. Uh, this is cork, glitter, cork with some glitter. You know, I love bling bling a little. And this is glitter vinyl that I have sewed on top of this. So I made these tassels. And here's the back with the back pockets that you can stick your cell phone in. Unfortunately, the front pocket had to be, you know, you can only stick a pen in here because uh, I didn't want to make the bag too big. I bought this pair of jeans at the thrift store in the States. So that's a good thing. Then you get fabric for a whole bag for $5. I love that. It's pretty cool and it has a lot of room. I put feet on it too, so it can stand on the ground by itself. It's padded with rubber foam inside to give it some firmness. Okay, I can't wait to show you how to do this. Are you ready to start? Good luck with yours. So what you have to do to prepare it, this has to be straight. So I had, the back is actually pretty straight. I just had to use a seam ripper to, to fix this seam. And then I rounded this a little. So this is the shape of my bag, but it's actually going to be more like this because this is the top of my bag. So, and there's a zipper there. Thinking the zipper has to go down to the side because I like to open the bag really wide. So I'm going to add these other waistband parts and then I'm going to make it go like that with a zipper down there. So this is pretty prepared. I've opened up in the sides and here the front seam, I had to re uh, seam rip that and I had to put in a little veg there. So as you see where my needles are to make this flat and I opened up because the uh, front was more curved I had to open up and pull it down on the sides as far as I can this is the gusset with one seam at the very bottom rubber foam as a stabilizer behind the front and the back and maybe even the side gusset so it can sit on the floor by itself without falling into one big heap so here's my lining parts. For one part I'm going to use a slip pocket. At the top I'm going to put this like that. On the other side I'm going to use this and that's a, I'm going to put a zipper in there so that's going to be a zipper pocket. As you probably have seen on my tutorial of Elisabetta you can see how I cut glitter vinyl. So I'm also going to use glitter vinyl for this bag. I'm going to sew these on. And I'm going to do this and I'm going to sew through this rubber foam to keep it in place. Glue first, then sew. So that's how I'm going to do it. Maybe you don't want to have all this. I'm going to have a handle coming up like that. So it's going to be like this, but I'm going to have it double. This is going to go around the whole edge here. So I'm going to use this zipper there. I'm going to sew that on there. And then on the other part, I'm going to sew on there. And then I'm going to go, it's going to go down on the sides to make it really easy to open wide. Now we have glued glitter vinyl to the pieces and we want to assemble the front and the back with this rubber foam. I think I might even put some pins in. So my aim is to fasten this uh, glitter vinyl so that when my body rubs against it, it won't fall off.
Okay, I think that's enough for the back. In order to hold it in place, I'm going to sew on that too. But then I'm going to take my feed dogs up to sew normally. Now we have, uh, I put uh, the orange thread on so I could continue the seams that I had to pick up to make the piece flat. Do the same on the back. We had that little thing there. Okay, so now we need to, I need to make this piping that goes around, fold it over the thread like that. It's going to be a little thick. But that's how I think it's going to be in the end. Okay, now we got that. Seam allowance. Just one. Now I come to this um, rounded edge and I cut into the seam allowance, not across it.
it's time to pr to make these this waistband longer so it goes down to the side a little And then it goes like that. So we need the others. I think it's a benefit to not sew with super elastic jeans. It is a little harder to make it pretty. So as we see here, the waistline is pretty elastic, so it's going to be a problem when I sew from this side up to the zipper, but I know how to cheat. So if I put this on here, it won't stretch. Isn't that pretty cool? When you redo old things like this, recycle old things. You have to be creative. Okay, so that's the back and I want the zipper to start there. Wait. So it's going to be, have to be this way and that's going to be there. Temporary like this there wow it's working so good it doesn't stretch at all middle and the middle should be there one should think maybe a little more Before we sew the gusset on, we need those little rings, hoops, that we can hang the shoulder strap on. So I'll put a double-sided tape on the middle, or approximately in the middle, and then
fold it there and there so both sides get half of the tape goes on each there there and then I'll put another tape on and that has to be in the middle it has to be in the middle exactly like that and then put that on I still have the zipper foot on so that might not be the smartest thing to do but I soon have I soon need it So, so the zipper is totally closed there, so we don't get a gap. I have to be a little careful over the teeth of the zipper. That's one side. And we do the other. At least the zippers stay together here, so that's not a problem. I don't need to... It's a little thick here. Now we need to sew the little... their gusset on here. So in order to fasten this side gusset, we have to sew it in three different <laughs> operations. One on the center and then one on each side. Because we want to spread the top layer of the waistband and the, and the bottom layer, which is the lining. We don't want to put them together because then it's... See here, this, is the, this has to be free. We have sewn there. Now we have sewn there, that has to be free. And now we have to open that. There. So now they are free so we can, we can sew along the side here. We do the same on the other side. I had to seam rip this to make a straight line here. I think it's time to sew that so we can and stop in the corner there. So that means we need the orange thread again. This whole thing is a little thick now with the rubber foam under and everything. I think I'll start there. And where I folded this piping, this is where I'm going to stop. There. Yeah, we let's do the same on the uh, on the back side. So now we basically have the top part ready. Just make sure that this is on the middle, mid under. Then we clip it, we clip it in place. make sure that this corner here on the top where we need that let's make sure that looks good 
there and then that goes like that okay this is how it goes then it's straight there we need to be here we need to sew right there on the top okay I'm going to try and stay close to the piping to make that a little narrower. Trying to spread the seam allowances on the bottom of the gusset. So now we have done the back, we need to do the front the same way. We have to clip that on. Pretty thick under here, especially on the front pocket. It's a lot of fabric. It's hard work and scary too. Yeah, so this stretches sideways, not so great. And now to the handles. So we've got four. This is also strap connectors. So I put double-sided tape there. And, and then I'm going to put, we need to make it strong. This is, la this is cork, but it's a thin layer. So uh, in order to make it stronger, I'll make it two layers. Because you know how women are, we stuff a lot of things in our bags. So they can become real heavy. <laughs> we'll use these after we've sewn around it. So the idea is for it to be like that, like that, and then we sew that on. But first, I can sew around these little strap connectors. Oh, I only need to have a pretty little seam there, there, and there. Now I want to put uh, a little tape to hold these in place. I only need a little. Uh, 
and as you've seen from my, my other videos, I love the double-sided tape. That's the best cheating tool we have. Let's put these in place. Okay, let's put it all the way down to the pocket there. I think that should be all right. So now I need to make sure I sew through all the layers. Starting in the seam we have already. It's a little thick this one. Okay, one down. Three to go. I'm feeling under it to make sure nothing funny is happening there. See how easy it is to Keep them in place when you use that glue. Okay, so now we do the front. So let's see if that there. And this is so thick. I'll take it very easy. I have to admit I'm cheating a little bit on this front because it's so many layers with all these pockets. I'm not sewing, I'm not sewing through the rubber foam on the front. I'm trying to not punish myself too much. <laughs> here are their handles. Actually, it's the handles. So you see I made them pretty long here so they can go over the shoulder. And then I'm going to take uh, I have put glue on one part and not glue on the other and I have cut them a little wider than I have to because I want to cut them double. I want to cut them after they're glued together to make sure that the edges are neat. This end of it, I'm going to narrow it in a little so it fits smoothly in my little bracket here. See now it's a little wide. From four inches I'm going to put the tape, double-sided tape, because that's where I'm going to put a little cord. So and I'm going to stop four inches from the end. This is only to hold my little cord in place, just to make life easier. There. See, now I'm gluing it there. And here, it's the same. I need to cut in a little. to make it fit in that metal bracket. Okay. And then I'll do the same on the other side.
Now I want to sew with the yellow thread. There. On the right side, this is the right side now. need to cut that even so now we have that ready to go ready to go on here and sometimes when we use this thick thread it might be good just to Burn the thread on, in, in the ends, on the ends. Burn them rather than cut them off. That's for the fearless ones. Because we don't want a burn mark. Ow. Okay, I'm not an expert with a lighter. <laughs> I never smoked. <laughs> okay, we got the handles. Now we need to do the lining. And here I'm using waterproof canvas it's, it's kind of plastic it's canvas on this side and plastic on that side so it's waterproof we're going to have a zipper pocket and let's find out where the center is here there center is there I like to have I like to have these decorative panels because then it's so much easier to find the zipper inside the bag. The center of that, center of that. I think this should be good. This is the pocket inside, inside pocket. The clue here is that the pocket is a little wider than our little decorative thing. And we have to start on top there. We have to leave yeah, we have to leave a little part of it there so we can have a seam up top. We could just sew around happily. Because now we have glued it, a little strip of glue under there. This will help the, keep the cork in place, mostly. We'll cut a little hole here. What we'll do now is we'll cut away, we will cut away the, we'll cut, not the cork, we'll cut away only the waterproof lining. So, yeah, we have to cut so we don't see it in the ends here. Let's see. We don't have to cut it all the way to the end there. We only need to make sure we don't see it when we put our zipper in. There. So I have this zipper here. I think it would be good if we, to keep the zipper in place. We put it there, I put it on the zipper, but I'm afraid that's not the best idea. So we'll put it here instead so we're sure the glue won't show ever. There, here's the zipper. It's a little extra long because that's all I had. I wanted it dark blue because the den denim is dark blue. Then then it sticks out pretty much. Make sure I get this in.
because now this comes on top there. Okay. There. And it will be there. And there. So now we have that pocket working pretty good. Open there, open in the bottom so we can turn the bag through. And then we need a little slip pocket that I cut pretty, not so deep. I don't want it so big because things disappear, lipsticks and stuff disappear so deep down there. So I'm folding that. Sewing the sides. Yes, I'm still too lazy to change the thread to uh, pink since, <laughs> since they're not going to show. Okay. This canvas is pretty stiff. It's so great to use it for bags because it makes the bags pretty firm stiffens them up okay and now I'm trying to make it a little flat without ironing it so I'm going to use this fold that's going to be the bottom of my slip pocket And then I'm going to sew this little edge because I think that's, that looks pretty. We can sew that on the front piece here and then I make a little crow's foot that means I go like a little skew in here to make And then I'm going to make a little divider in the middle here. And yes, there. Little cross feet on them too. All right, now we got the front and we got the back. All we have to do is put the gusset on the lining. I've been thinking a little bit. Sometimes you have to stop and do that. And I see that there's no way we can sew this without any hand sewing. So I might as well close this pocket, the, in, the pocket on the lining. Because this is not going to operate. It's not going to be like assembling a regular bag. So in order to we need a little rubber foam on the gusset as well. So I'm going to sew it onto this one, onto the lining gusset, because then I know that it won't move around. I'm going to sew an, a seam on each side. It's kind of basting it. You will be able to see the seam from the inside of the bag, but it's 
So now at least I know that it will be held in place. Now we can put the gusset on here. And we can take good sewing seam allowance so we make sure that it's not going to be too bulky in here. I think I'm going to cut, cut a little to make it easier to get around the rounded edge here, the curved edge. one side so of course you will see that seam there but it has to be there let me also cut away the seam allowance because it's this uh, is bulky not too close I'll still leave a little fabric there Then the next side The reason we're using this this big seam allowance on the lining is that the lining has to be smaller than the outer bag. So I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that uh, this. We only need the side gusset. Oh, we only need the side gusset to go up here. To go up here, there. So now I have seam ripped so this goes need to cut that off it's going to be it's going to be like that and then this one has to go side gussets need to be shorter <laughs> because we already have the ones with denim on the inside we even need to cut off the foam because the foam doesn't have to go all the way Foam doesn't have to be in the seam allowance. There, now that's almost ready. Maybe we have to cut a little later when we see exactly how much we need. I think I want little feet on this. This is such a big bag. So I have these little feet. I don't know if you can see here. They're going to be like that. And of course, uh, since I don't have since I don't have any, there's not much to strengthen this. I just need a little hole here for the, for the screw. Because you see here, we have a little screw. But, so here's the screw and it's very small. And here's the screwdriver I'm going to use. What, we'll, what I'll do is I'll use two pieces of cork like this. Well, maybe I can put them against each other like that, that I cut a hole in. And that's going to keep this screw from falling through. So what I'll do is I'll put that in. That's a screw. See, that's the screw. Here's the, the foot. So all we have to do 
now there. And then I'm going to tighten them, tighten the screw while I hold the other part. Now, and that's how hard, that's how tight I can get it. Okay, large enough to get the screw through. Right, have the screw, have that, and then I need to put the screw to the little hole I made there. We don't want it too tight. We don't want this to cut a hole in the denim either. I think this, uh, this one is actually tight enough now. There. So now we have the little feet here. Little feet and then now we're ready to put in the lining. Make sure the back, the zipper is on the back like that. If we turn the whole bag inside out, then we can see what we're doing. It's going to be some finagling here. So our aim here is to fasten this. And since we already have that seam there, if you want, you can sew by hand, but I don't think that's sturdy enough. I want to stitch this by uh, with a machine. But of course I need to do it from this side so I can see what's going on. So what I'll do is I'll stitch here. I'll do the same on the other side here. Fasten that and then stitch there. Now we have fastened, uh, sewed the lining to there on the top. And now we need to fix the sides, which is a hot mess. So. We probably have to sew this by hand. See, this has to go like that. That has to go like that. the corner has to be finagled nicely like that I have to sew by hand here because there's no way I can get to it with the machine is way too thick so I'll do that on this side I'll do the same I have sewn here by hand around everywhere it needed, everywhere where it's needed. So now we can turn it back around. It's getting nice and thick, so it will be sturdy. Now it can stand by itself. That's good on the floor because the bag is almost finished. Look at this. So we're going to sew the straps to the strap connectors that we put in. So I cut one hole here on all of them in the center.
so see when you're making bags you really need certain equipment like it like riv it's fun to put riv rivets and grommets on things so you need a machine for that first we're going to make a couple a couple tassels so i cut these tassels with my rotary cutter then i put a double-sided tape on so here is just one little strap these are only lanyard uh, swivel, swivel hooks and then i just make the tassel roll it and then the double-sided tape is going to hold it together for me there so that's the tassel but we need a hole in it so we want one little rivet to make it really sturdy there that's ready to put the, the rivet in so i buy these rivets uh, i like the ones that um, springfield leather company are selling they have a shop on amazon.com too you see they are not very long for the tassels it would be nice if they were a little longer so I just clip them in place yes so because we we need we need two for the tassels as well this is why if you had longer if you had longer neck on these rivers then you could make bigger tassels but I don't so so I'll just lay it here and I have ordered uh, dice, what do you call it? Yeah, the, the tools for this that go with this size of rivets. And you don't need to press hard, it's, it's, it works well. This is, these normally come green, but I, I have painted it pink because it's more fun like that. There. Thank you so much for sticking it out to the end. Have a wonderful day and be fearless and make this. It's not simple, but it's fun.